Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Movie Talk. Now today I'm going to be discussing the possibilities for the next Dragon Ball Z movie which is set to come out either the end of this year or the end of next year or possibly the beginning of next year. Now to start off with let's go over what we already know about Dragon Ball Z from the last film Battle of Gods. Now at the end many of you may have seen, those who actually like Dragon Ball Z, may have seen that Vegeta said to Goku that next time he wanted to go Super Saiyan God. Now, what could this mean? Now, we know there's 12 universes and they are based in the 7th universe and Beerus is the 7th God of Destruction, meaning there are 12 Gods of Destruction in total. Now, the possibility for the next film could be that one of the Gods of Destruction sort of comes from one of the other universes and starts to get a bit, how could I say it, a little bit greedy and wants to destroy other universes or something and comes to Earth, therefore resulting in Vegeta having to turn Super Saiyan God in order to fight this new foe, whoever it could be. It could also result in a team up with Beerus in order to defeat this new villain because it could be even more powerful than Beerus and Whis put together. Our second possibility could be Vegeta turning Super Saiyan 3 because as you may or may or not already know that Vegeta does not have a s official Super Saiyan 3 form yet. Well, he kind of does because he's in Raging Blast 2 and Dragon Ball Heroes. But in the anime, he hasn't actually had a Super Saiyan 3 transformation. And we already know that Akira Toriyama wants to make Vegeta the main character for his next film. So we're either going to get a Super Saiyan God form or Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. The third possibility could be that the film would be based on Vegeta's past when he is a kid because we already know that there's a new manga that's just been released recently and it focuses on Goku's mother who's called Jine for those who didn't know and it shows Vegeta as a little kid and Raditz who's Goku's brother on a different planet sort of taking it over so we could get a film about that about his past and the planets he's taken over the fourth possibility which was made up by me where it could be that Broly comes back for what is it now the third time because Bio Broly wasn't really a sort of official return for him and he could have his own Super Saiyan 3 transformation just like we saw in Raging Blast 2 and he could possibly shall I just say kick Goku's ass and it could result in Vegeta having to go Super Saiyan 3 and that could result in a Super Saiyan 3 Gogeta as well as just a Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Now I know we know definitely that the film's going to be based on Vegeta due to what Akira Toriyama said but whether or not he decides to make Vegeta a total badass and makes him overpowered that's up to him but we know for a fact that one of those possibilities is going to be well the official plot to what we're going to see in the film so we're either going to see Vegeta turn Super Saiyan God, we're going to see him turn Super Saiyan 3, or we're going to see his past. Now as for the Broly one, I'm not too sure. don't think Broly's really going to come back, but it's still possible. It's still possible. So yeah, that's all for now. We've got the new film coming up very soon. We've already got announcement that the movie is coming soon, so I'm guessing... The film will come out at the end of this year because there is a new Dragon Ball game coming out, a next gen Dragon Ball game, and it says on the official website that there's a movie coming soon. So hopefully that means we're going to see the new Dragon Ball film at the end of this year, and I'm getting very excited for that. So with that, that's the end of this video. If you like this video, 
just drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more Dragon Ball Z content and more movie talks and gameplay and such and such. So with that, see you in the next video. Goodbye.